I don't know what is wrong with me lately, but I just sat here and talked to my camera and then my camera stopped filming and I'm like, what's going on? I never hit record. That's what's going on. I'm so silly sometimes. So I'm having some iced coffee. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 13 and I've done my makeup except for like bronze contour highlight. I did a little bit of blush, but I don't know. I tried this LOV blushment blurring blush it was a little strong um so i just need to use a lighter hand so i just kind of bounce some foundation over it i use like the dregs of this bare minerals fresh face liquid foundation honestly it's like so empty but there was still like a good bit in the bottom so i used a brush to get it out i love that foundation it's very like well it's fresh face it's like it's like natural finish. It's got medium coverage. I don't know. I, I like lately I haven't been liking like full coverage matte foundations. I want something a little bit lighter. Um, so yeah, that's what I did. But I used a MAC Aaliyah palette, the little nine shadow palette. But I also put this ColourPop Good Reef in my waterline. I don't know if you can see that well to kind of play up the rose gold. I think it turned out really cute. And I did a wing. Um, I swear every time I do a wing, like one's pointed up a little bit more and the other one's like, eh. Um, so yeah, I tried to fix that, but it is what it is. I also used the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I really like that. Like, it did amazing with this foundation. Like, it blurred pores a little bit, but my foundation felt like it just went, like, snatched into my face. NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I used the Too Faced Better Than Sex Liner. And I used il maquillage mascara which i really like too i feel like it does great on my lashes so now i'm just doing a little bit of bronze i actually started bronzing thinking i was filming a bronze like the forehead area i'm just getting like super pale so i'm just bronzing up a little bit extra so i was saying i need to come home this afternoon and film a little skincare video using those skin lab products that I got sent I'm actually really behind on that like I just kind of slipped my mind that I needed to do it but I'm gonna be posting that video tomorrow or Sunday I think if I can get it filmed tonight and there's gonna be a giveaway where you can win like the entire skincare line that I'm gonna be using so stay tuned for that I need some contour I'm gonna use this naked skin shapeshifter I feel like people didn't talk about this very much and now I don't know if it's gone completely or if it's just online or what but I use this contour shade a lot and the other side is creams like I felt like this was a great little palette so I'm using this in this little Tetris brush from Ipsy to contour my nose it's an eyeshadow brush but it's kind of what I like to do I think that's the male I hear. I'm using a Morphe E20, like the ferrule's trying to come off completely. A little bit of a defined contour there. All right, so I think we're pretty much good. I'm gonna try just a little bit more of this blush, but it was like, maybe it's just too pink for my liking. Okay, I'm going super, super soft. I don't think I like this color. I think that's part of the reason why I'm not loving it. All right, I'm gonna take the highlight from the Shape Shifter 2. I go super soft on the nose. I don't like insane nose highlight. Okay, now I just need a lip. All right, I'm using a Wet n Wild gel lip liner in the shade Bare to Comment. I do this every time. I'm running late now. So uh, really quickly, I'm using CoverGirl. This is 230 Cream. It's pretty light. I think my mail lady gets like angry because she has to walk to my door. Eep. 
So only because it popped up, I'm going to tell you guys. So Glam Glow reached out to me on Instagram and said they wanted to send me some Glam Glow stuff. And I'm like, are you sure? Are you, um, are you DMing the right person? Um, because you know, guys, I love Glam Glow. Like I use Super Mud and Super Cleanse. I love them so much. So that means like a lot to me. Um, but anyway, I'm going to use this Face Tree Artemisia. This is the Pore Refining Toner Mist. I actually really like this as a setting spray, um, especially when I'm wearing like a, maybe a more hydrating foundation and I want it to really last. For whatever reason, I like this. So, also my skin has been acting super weird. So I feel like this line has been just helping like keep my skin calm. I have actually two discounts with them. So there's Amy 40, to get 40% off of this particular line. And then I think the other discount is Amy 20. I have it linked below, but that's with Face Tree on anything, but there's a better deal if you want this stuff. That one's not an affiliate. It's just like they track it, but it's a better deal for you guys. Oh, and then CoverGirl reposted my little CoverGirl mug on Instagram, so cute. Okay, I'm checking Waze. Do you guys use Waze when you travel? For me, it's so helpful because it'll tell you like traffic patterns. If you're on there, you can also like report stuff. So right now it says if I leave, I'll make it to work at 1143. I have to be there at 12. So I've got a little bit of time. Um, so I'm gonna dry my hair, probably put a little bit of Olaplex oil in it, um, get my hair dried, get dressed, and then I need to grab my packages. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll show you what I got later on when I get back from work. So yeah, kind of a boring vlog day, but when I get home, I'll have packages, advent calendars, and I'm probably gonna call it a day as far as vlogging goes, but Look at that highlight. So I like my makeup today. Also on my brows, I use like three different brow pencils because I used one and I didn't like it. And then I need to make it darker and then it was too cool. And then I grabbed another one. It's a mess, but they turned out all right. I mean, it's okay. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing amazing and I'll talk to you later. All right guys, I am back home and I am going to open epic calendars and a couple packages with you. And yeah, I have, I got actually, I got, yes. Okay, so first off, I'm by the fire. Hopefully I'm not too close to this fire. Um, you may hear the dishwasher going in the background, so sorry about that if that's distracting. Sniffles is up in the tower acting like a crazed lunatic. But anyway, I'm gonna try to keep this clip shorter because I still have a lot to do tonight and I wanna film. I didn't film my Instagram little like skincare video, so I wanna get that up. I wanna get that done. But let's open advent calendars. I had had an okay day at work. People are definitely in the uh, the attitude of I'm having a bad day, so you're going to as well. I today spoke to someone and I said, hey, how are you doing today? She cut her eyes at me and her and her boyfriend both ignored me. So I didn't let that bother me for a minute. I turned around and walked away. Bitch, I am not. I don't deal with people like that. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead before I before I talk too much. Let's get into day 13. It's a little box down here. It feels really light. I wonder what this is. Okay. Oh, well this is kind of me. This is an Ico Black Magic Mascara and it's a little bitty one too. So, okay, that's what we got in our glossy box. I mean, I know not every single piece is gonna be amazing, but that was kind of like, eh. I'm spoiled with getting a lot of mascaras though, so maybe some people would be really excited about that. Let's get into Sugar Fina, day 13. Oh my god, it's Friday the 13th. Um, maybe that's, oh and it is like a full moon maybe. Is it still a full moon? Maybe people are just having, maybe people are just having bad days. I don't know. These look kind of gross. Here we go. It looks like these are gingerbread cookies. After that pumpkin pie caramel thing, I'm like, oh God, do I even wanna try it? Their gummies are so good. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm just too picky. Okay, so here it is. Zach's getting his Panera bread, by the way. I'm really excited. I got broccoli cheddar soup and a Caesar salad. That wasn't terrible, but also not my thing. All right, let's do look fantastic. Oh, for a second, I was gonna be like, you know what, they left 13 out because it's unlucky and it's not there, but it's it's here. So we got something that looks like a, a liner maybe. Oh, this is a small one. So this is a Lord and Berry Travel Black. 
So it's a little mini liner, just like that. I will likely either put these like in my mom's stocking or like in a little goodie bag for a giveaway or something. But at this point, like minis, I'm just not really using. I got too much stuff. All right, so that's advent calendars for the day. I do have, however, I have my Ipsy Glam Bag and then I have my BoxyCharm Boxy Lux. And let me tell you, I don't know if my my mind is just like done with with things right now, but I was so confused. I'm like, wait, I already got my BoxyCharm Premium. Like, why is this box so big? And it took me a good 10 minutes to realize that this was the month to get Boxy Lux. And then it like blew my mind that wait, Boxy Lux is bigger than the Premium, right? Like. I just got so confused. I don't know. There's just so many different subscription boxes now. And uh, I don't know. BoxyCharm is now 25. And then I think you pay an additional $24.95. Yeah, so $24.99. Okay, so it's a $50 box. I'm just, why can't I remember that? So let's go ahead and do Ipsy really quick. So this is just our regular Ipsy bag. So $12 a month. Yay, at least that one I can remember. The bag is the same silver. Oh, I think the zips have been different colors. This zip is green. I know the last one was blue. So I got a brush from that Complex Culture and I actually liked the other one that I got so much that I was actually like looking to see what the prices are. They are a little bit pricey, but these brushes feel so nice. I was looking on Ipsy to see if they had maybe like a deal where you could get a set because they do that from time to time. But best believe if I see these brushes on like add-on or something from Ipsy, I'm going to be grabbing some because these are super, super nice. So this is the all over highlight brush. And this just feels great. It has like a really nice weight to it. It's more weighted into the handle part. So you've got a lot of like nice movement. And I don't know, I love the ferrule. The ferrule has like this slant design where it meets the handle of the brush. And I don't know, I love the look of them. The bristles of course feel amazing. And they have other products too, which I didn't know. Like when I saw this, I was just like, oh, they make brushes. I didn't think too much into it, but I'm very impressed with these. So not many brushes nowadays are like really that thrilling to me. These are gorgeous and feel like great quality. And they are vegan brushes too. So if you're interested and you want to get your hands on it, they feel amazing. So really, really happy with that product. Whoop. We got, whoop. Dropped it twice. We got the H2O Beauty Oasis Hydrating Treatment. It's a water gel moisturizer. So it's a little guy like this. Again, I'm gonna be really picky about which tiny items I actually use. We got the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer. I believe I do have a full size of this. Yeah, so I do have a big one of this, but I love this bronzer. Anytime I wear bronzer during the summer, I typically want this one because nothing else quite does it for me. I love the Marc Jacobs, but it doesn't have a glow to it. And this one just gives you like that really subtle glow. It's sun kiss, it's beautiful. So really happy about that as well. This is by Aromatica. Rose Absolute First Toner and Serum will tackle two skincare steps in one. Made with natural plant and herbs, balances, hydrates, and illuminates skin with Bulgarian Damask Rose Oil, Aloe Vera, and Niacinamide two to three drops of the serum on clean dry skin morning and night i'm kind of intrigued by this i think i'd like to give this a try it's a little heavy on the rose but i feel like it's starting to dissipate like almost immediately but ooh, it left my skin feeling really smooth maybe my skin was just like really dehydrated on my hands from washing a lot but that feels really nice okay i will definitely give this a try it's a cute little bottle in case I didn't give you guys a close-up of that but very cute obviously just a sample size but I'm keen to try this out and then we got one more thing this is the it says TPSY I don't know if that's meant to be tipsy or what deeply moisturizing glossy finish leaves behind a warm pink tint so this one like shifts your lips pH is it changing colors I think it is this smells like something familiar. Oh, that's kind of cute. Okay, I like this. I wish I knew what that smelled like. But anyway, so I'm definitely going to give these two a try. I may put the others aside, like I said, for giveaway goodie bag, um, Christmas, like stocking stuffers, something like that. But this looks really pretty. Let me know what you think about that. Overall, I think this is a pretty good bag. Honestly, I'm just 
thrilled to have this brush. Like, I feel like this is easily a $12 brush. It feels so, so nice. And then in addition to that, you got the bag. We got our little toner serum. We got this lip oil, which looks really cute, I think. Park Avenue bronzer. And then we have a little gel moisturizer and all of that with the brush. I think it's pretty good. This is one of my favorite Ipsy bags in a while, so I'm pretty impressed. While I still have a little bit of battery, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the Boxy Lux. The first thing I got is the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil. I do believe this was the product I was able to pick, and typically if I see something Elemis, I'm like really intrigued and I'm just gonna grab it. Ooh, it looks so pretty. It still smells a little bit like rose where I put that on, but I guess we're gonna smell like rose over here too. Hey bud. Minners is like just hanging out right here. Oh, that smells like real rose. We used to have roses planted, but you know, it wasn't like the long stem roses that you imagine. It's more like those full ones. I don't even know how to, how to put it, but we had pink roses that were a little bit like bigger and the petals were really like fine. Every once in a while she puts them on the table and this is what the petals smelled like. They were very fragrant, whatever type of rose that is. So that oil goes for $79, $50 box, $79 oil. What else do we need? But we got this, this is the In Beauty Project. Oh, I just saw Trend Mood post about this. Apparently one of their brand products is gonna be in the first trend mood box i'm going to try to get my hands on that i did the poll on instagram and most of you really want to see me unbox that so i'm gonna try mm. it's less than 40 dollars for the box for the first one at least so that's pretty good you want to say hi hey buddy don't why you gotta be like this you smell good hey okay all right, so this is the dual phase setting mist. It does have, maybe you can see right here, you can probably see it. There's like a little dual phase, so I guess you probably give it a good shake. Helps to set makeup, energize, and revive. Filters away dull, tired, or stressed out skin. Glow, hydrate, and energize. This goes for $32. Whew. It's got like a really fresh citrusy type of scent. I'm into it. It's, I mean, 32 seems a little high. You get 3.4 ounces, but you know, if it's amazing, it's not high at all. So I will definitely give that a try. I got something from QMS Medi Cosmetics Lip Line Corrector Lip Serum. Uh, lightweight serum formulated to hydrate and plump the lips for a smoother, youthful appearance. So here is the packaging. And this goes, this goes for $200. I don't know if I have like a lot of things to correct, but exclusively for the upper lip area to target fine lines and wrinkles, high performance lightweight serum specifically designed, specifically, specifically designed to hydrate and plump lips for a smoother, fuller appearance. Okay. For $200, we're going to try it. All right. Next, I got the Ciate Marble Light Illuminating Blusher. So I'm keen to try this. I just got that Ciate highlighter. It was so pretty, but it's just like kind of dark. So I'm a little sad. Ooh, this looks nice. Look how pretty. Okay, so that's on the finger. Hmm, it's very smooth. Today I tried the, well, you guys saw, I already freaking vlogged it. I tried that uh, LOV blush. I don't know, like, I don't know if I really liked it. It came off like really punchy, but I think it was more the color than anything else. Um, so this goes for $26, not a bad price. It's talc-free, lightweight, buildable formula, a blend of matte pigments, and finely milled illuminating particles. Okay, I think I'll definitely try this out soon. I got from Too Faced the Melted Matte in the shade Cool Girl. I know I have not had this color. I do like this formula though, like of liquid lipsticks. Now granted, I don't wear liquid lipstick all the time. I wear it more just like here and there, specifically if I want something really long wearing but I do not whip them out every single day like I used to, but I do really like this formula. So let's see what this looks like. That's kind of cute, no? Let me know what you think about this color. Oh wow, that lip oil, it like stained the perimeter of my lips because you know, it's just the oil, so I just went to town. So I guess like be careful with that one if you get it because the outside of my lips are so pink. It's okay though. We're just unboxing, it's gonna be good. So the Melted Matte Lipstick goes for $21. 
I think some people got that like diamond gloss or whatever it is. I got from Kat Von D the Dagger Tattoo Liner. Now I have played with this particular brush. This is not really my bag personally. It's got like this like angled little flat brush. It's like flat and at an angle. I don't think I really care for it honestly. I would rather just pass it on to somebody else and somebody can see if they like it but just playing with it a little bit it wasn't really my bag. I'm really loving the Too Faced Better Than Sex one that's what I have on today and I've been liking it. We got the Ritual of Sakura. This is the Zensational Foaming Shower Gel. It has organic rice milk and cherry blossom. This looks delightful. I I'm really intrigued to try this out. Um, so this goes for, oh, only $9.50. It's by Rituals. It's a renewing scent of cherry blossom and rice milk. Unique technology to transform the gel into a silky, soft cleansing foam. Huh, and it's a shower gel. Okay, I'm really keen to try that out soon. The second ingredient is sulfate. So I don't know. I, I go back and forth. Let me know if you guys use sulfate shower gels or sulfate-free shower gels. When I use something completely sulfate-free, I feel like I'm not getting clean. Um, but so usually what I do is I have a, a sulfate free one and I'll put like a tiny bit of a body wash that has sulfate in it. I know that's silly, but like, as long as it's a little bit, I, I feel clean without feeling dry, but I don't know. I go back and forth. Like I want to feel clean, but I also don't want to strip my skin. We have still have two items. I got the fresh soy face cleanser and this one goes for $38. Gel cleanser for all skin types has a cult following, blah, 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 blah. I do like this one. However, at least for me wearing a full face of makeup, I don't feel like it does a good job of removing my makeup and cleansing. Maybe that's just me. It claims to do both, but to me, this is more of a cleanser in my routine. I like a good oil or, or balm or something that's going to really break down the makeup, but a lot of people really love this. If I have one of these on hand, I'll put it in a giveaway. I don't dislike it, but there are other cleansers that I like more. I really like from their line, the Seaberry Cleansing Oil, and then I also like their um, Strawberry one. So I really like those two. It's just like the soy for me isn't quite as good for my skin as the other two. That makes sense. All right, I think we saved the most exciting item for last. So this is the Storybook Cosmetics Fairy Tales Little Briar Rose. And I can't remember what this fairy tale is. I saw this as like a spoiler and I honestly just can't remember. This goes for $55. Their stuff is so pretty, but I feel like the price tag is pretty high. It is really cute that it is a book. I've been very tempted to buy some of their things before, but this is what the little Briar Rose looks like. So yeah, this is very cute. Here are the colors. I definitely want to try this formula out because as I said, I've been really tempted to purchase things before. I'll swatch a couple. My camera has not died yet. I know if I talk, for too long, it is definitely going to die. So here are some swatches. It looks really pretty. I will definitely be trying this very soon. Ooh, I like that one. That one's like a sequiny, got a little shimmer to it. Those are, that's really close to my skin tone. So you may not be able to see those as well, but it looks really pretty. I am very, very excited to give this a try really soon. All right, so let me do some math in my head. So if my math is right, this is about $480 worth of product. Obviously a large portion of that being the lip line corrector for 200, but $480. I'm stoked with this. I don't know about you guys, but even just getting like a few of these things for 50 bucks is a really good deal. I'm very excited to try this in beauty product too. I've barely heard of them, but I like it so far. I'm really, really keen to try some more. So as I said, I will try to get that trend mood box and that way we can see new goodies. There's, I think there's two new products in that. I will do my best to try to get that for you guys, but I feel like this was a really good unboxing day. The advent calendars, maybe not so much, but the other ones I am loving. So thank you guys so much for watching Vlogmas Day 13. I hope you're doing amazing and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.